to cup or to disc? That is the question. Hey, this is Amanda from Put A Cup In It and I wanna to talk to you about menstrual discs versus menstrual cups. We've heard many times that someone has tried a menstrual cup and it just didn't work for them only for us to later find out that what they were actually talking about was a menstrual disc. Unfortunately, we hear a lot of menstrual disc brands call themselves cups, which can be really confusing when someone's trying to research menstrual cups, or more specifically, if they're trying to find discs but are finding cups. While menstrual cups come in a very wide range of styles, sizes, shapes, colors, etc., menstrual discs only actually have a few varieties. There aren't a whole lot of brands that make and sell a menstrual disc. During wear, both a cup and a disc should be completely comfortable and undetectable. A menstrual disc looks a bit more like a diaphragm, while a menstrual cup is a bit more of a bell or cup shape. Menstrual cups are typically made out of silicone, though they may be made out of TPE or, less commonly, rubber. While the menstrual disc has typically been made out of plastics, it has most recently been re-envisioned in silicone. A menstrual cup sits in the vaginal canal below the cervix. Something like this. A menstrual disc, however, sits in the vaginal canal back behind the cervix and tucked up behind the pubic bone. Something like this. To remove a menstrual cup, you're simply going to pinch the base of the cup and pull out while keeping the base pinched so that it keeps the suction released. A disc that you may be more familiar with is the Flex. Um, this also comes in a soft disc, which is formerly the soft cup. It is a plastic disc with sort of a crinkly inner. You fold it in half to insert, insert it again behind the cervix and behind the pubic bone. To remove, you simply hook the rim and pull it out. We like to call this a blood drawer. When it comes time to remove, we feel that the cup has a clear advantage because you can very easily tip it out to be entirely mess free. Personally, I think I've only ever gotten anything on my hands a couple of times and I've been using a cup for like, I don't know, 11 years or something like that. With a disc, however, you may be able to see that the catch portion of the disc kind of squishes up because it's held in with the vaginal walls which aren't actually present here, but same thing applies. And so when you go to remove, that blood is all sitting on that squished up platform. So when you remove your blood drawer, it's all sort of squishing up into this very sort of one plane disc. Getting a lot of blood on this area, which isn't exactly the cleanest or easiest to keep from getting on your hands. That said, we have been given a tip to bear down with your muscles to help sort of dislodge the cup and empty it, and then remove after it's sort of emptied while you were wearing it. This hasn't personally worked for me, but it might work for you. Please be sure to give this video a like and subscribe so that you can stay up to date on all of our menstrual cup content. If you have any other questions about the differences between cups and discs, please leave them in the comments below. And if you have more cup questions in general, please join our Facebook community. It's a really wonderful space to ask questions. If you have a very specific question, chances are someone in there has your answer. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this clears up any questions you might have about the differences between a cup and a disc. Bye! Peace. Peace. Peace.